Hi, this is George Alge with the Two Green Energy Video Report, speaking with Craig Shields, the author of Renewable Energy Facts and Fantasies. Welcome, Craig. Happy to be here. And of course, Craig is the editor of the TwoGreenEnergy.com website, and as well maintains a business as, um, well, includes a number of things, but of course, the funding liaison is going to be highlighted today in terms of connecting uh, funding sources with good business ideas. And mm -hmm. today is an interesting topic. Uh, let's talk about biomass from chicken manure. Sure. Biomass, ener uh, biomass to energy based on chicken manure, exactly. So um, I have a business plan um, in one sitting on my desk. It's one of about two dozen that I really like. I'm in the business of reviewing these things. I've looked at 600 business plans over the last 18 months, and there are a couple dozen that I really love uh, for a great number of reasons, independent reasons. Um, this one has to do with the fact that the, there is an enormous amount of energy in the 2.2 trillion tons of manure that comes out of the 7.6 billion chickens. There, there are 20 chickens for every man, woman, and child in the United States. Wow. Isn't that something? So um, that, this, is, this is wasted energy, pardon the pun, but it is also an ecologic disaster. So these are people that have a kind of modular technology. So just imagine something that for two to four or five million dollars, you can set up the capital equipment on a farm that may have a couple million chickens. Okay? So now, instead of being a source of pollution when it rains and this stuff washes into a river, okay, now you're extracting the energy from it in a benign way. So you're, it's the ultimate you know, turning lemons into lemonade, I suppose you can say. So their first implementation, which is just now finalizing, is with a, a city in Ohio that happens to be on a lake that's nine miles by two miles that's so polluted you can't go near it. Not only can you not swim in it or boat in it, it's a, it's a mess. So this has ruined this whole part of the state. The, the city has given this company a uh, power purchase agreement to sell the, the power back to the local utility at preferential rates. It will be consuming the chicken manure from those few million birds and it sits on the farm of somebody who would be thrilled. I mean, I don't know how much room this guy's got, but he's thrilled to uh, lease uh, a quarter acre or whatever this thing takes for a, an indefinite period of time for, ne for nothing. He's just thrilled to have, he, now he's got a problem that's completely gone away. Wow, okay, and this can presumably process all kinds of manure. Yes, well, there, as I say, there's 7.6 billion chickens, which is a number that always gets people's attention, there are a lesser number of turkeys, of pigs, and cows. I actually saw a demonstration of this thing out at a cow farm, relatively small, 800 animals, um, out in uh, Winchester, Virginia about six months ago. I'm glad, you know, as I wrote to the guy, I said, fascinating, I'm gl really glad I was there. I'm also glad I wasn't wearing my good shoes. But, um, so this stuff really does work. It's not, it's not, um, rocket science in terms of the technology in 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 biologic in, in biomass generally there's an enormous amount of energy that's going to go somewhere um, and, it, and the technology exists to extract that in really productive efficient benign ways nowadays so in terms of looking for new business plans in this sector would you say that the the um, things that would fascinate you would be technologies that would just implement this process at a more efficient rate or a lower cost? Or you know, it's a good question. Here's what I think about this. I, I had a guy who didn't invest in this because he didn't see the barrier to entry. It, it, it is true that this doesn't use, uh, you know, some proprietary technology. The problem, the reason that I think that the, 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 this deal in Ohio did ultimately get its money and that several others are going to follow right on its heels is because barrier to entry, I think, was, I think the, the investor was simply kind of short-sighted on this thing. As I say, we're talking about 2.2 trillion tons of this in a given year. So we're not going to be running out of this anytime soon. And, and the, this is a, a small startup company that is going to have plenty of this to do for the foreseeable future. So I don't know, uh, yes, there are room, there is room for other players in this market if you have a good technology and certainly a kind of replicatable, what, what's really to like about this is its modularity. And the, it doesn't require a hundred million dollar plan, it requires just 
stamping out individual modules of this thing that cost you know a couple million dollars. It's very affordable. All right, so it's some equipment that's placed in on the property. Yes. If, okay. Yep. Exactly. All right. Any summating points on this? Well, just biomass. I mean, you will you live a long life and and not run out of uh, of these uh, business plans to review simply because there's so much to it. There, there, think of all the different flavors of gasification, of pyrolysis, of, of feedstocks, the permutations of all of this stuff. They're just they're they're you'll never run out of them. There there's tons of feedstock that's going to waste. There are new ideas that are coming across on this thing. There are better efficiencies um, all the time. So this has, there's a lot to like about this. And the other thing is the fact that this, this can be electricity in the form of this place in Ohio. It can also be uh, bioethanol and biobutanol and, and so forth. So in other words, there are liquid fuels that can come out of this thing that can uh, drive our cars and trucks. All right. Great speaking, Craig. All right. Thanks, George. All right. So this is George Alger signing off for the True Green Energy Video Report until we meet again.